Hi, I'm Erica De Mercurio, licensed massage therapist and reflexologist. My practice is inspired by what I believe is a societal need to be embodied. To me, that means relieving stress so that we can get in touch with our senses, get out of our minds, and to feel at home within our bodies. I like to use Reiki, aromatherapy, and yoga techniques in my practice as well. Come check it out. I like to begin each session with new or returning clients with a short check-in. This is a time for our energies to blend in a comfortable space and when we can address any particular needs for that massage. Concerns I see range from a stiff neck to pulled muscle to medical rehabilitation or just simply to relax. At this point, I also like to determine what aromatherapeutic options we will be using. I truly believe in the healing properties of essential oils and I love sharing their accessible and powerful nature to heal the root of many energetic imbalances. From there, we get to the body work. We begin with grounding, a gentle laying of hands and a little pressure downward so as to feel supported on the table. And what this does is ultimately grant permission to take a good couple deep breaths, get comfortable in stillness, and begin to tap into what does and doesn't feel good within the body. From there on out, no massage is the same. No body is the same, nobody's energy is the same day to day, and I like to honor that by using the information the client shared with me at the beginning of the session by utilizing slight stretching, palpation, or spatial awareness to gather information of muscular imbalances or tightness, and by checking in throughout the session to adjust pressure, speed, or area. Getting comfortable enough to release stress built up in the body is really intuitive business. With time or familiar circumstances of relaxation, the body will more quickly engage the parasympathetic nervous system, sometimes called the rest and digest system, which is one of the primary goals of massage. But there is no one-size-fits-all science to accomplishing this. So I utilize several techniques in my practice, but I really believe that the more personal and unique the flow, the better. One massage technique I often incorporate in my work is effleurage. This is a Swedish massage technique characterized by slow strokes spanning the entire length of the muscle, which has a very relaxing effect. I also incorporate deep tissue work, which is focused pressure using an elbow or bony finger um, to break up what people refer to as knots or soft tissue adhesions and even scar tissue. This has more of a therapeutic sensation at the time, but can result in lasting pain relief and greater mobility. Another style I use is reflexology, which is when I press into the reflex points of the soles of the feet and palms of the hands. This manipulation stimulates the movement of energy, or chi, throughout meridian lines that travel the landscape of the body and effectively remove blockages that could be energetic roots of pain or illness. Reiki is another method that shifts this type of energy uh, with gentle laying of hands or even hovering over the body. And I like to add this particularly at the beginning, end, and transitional moments throughout my massage work for its graceful kind of effect. Sometimes my massage sessions are very chatty, like catching up with an old friend. And sometimes people need rest so badly that they fall asleep. I honor and welcome both scenarios for they both have therapeutic benefit and at the end of the day my goal is to help people feel at ease and at home in their bodies because I believe when people feel good that they're more likely to do good.